Greetings, listener. Allow me to tell you a tale of magical evolution. Imagine, if you will, a goblin causing havoc in the town square. This was a common problem in the old days, and the methods wizards used to subdue such creatures have evolved significantly over time. In the earliest days, wizards employed a laborious method. They would cast a shrink spell, targeting the goblin. Each casting would further reduce the goblin's size. When the goblin was finally small enough, the wizard would cast a capture spell, trapping it safely. This method, while effective, was incredibly time-consuming. As our understanding of magic grew, wizards discovered the concept of iteration. This allowed for a more efficient approach. Instead of casting the shrink spell manually over and over, a wizard would write a helper spell. This spell employed a magical loop. While the goblin remained above a certain size, the loop would cast the shrink spell repeatedly. Once the goblin was small enough, the loop would end, and the helper spell would cast the capture spell. The wizard only needs to cast this spell once and specify the target goblin. While bog breath's size is greater than three. True. True. False. This iterative method saved a great deal of effort, because a wizard can cast the helper spell once, and it will handle a goblin of any size. But the pinnacle of magical prowess was achieved with the discovery of recursion. Allow me to explain how it works. A different helper spell is crafted, containing a recursive case and a base case. When the goblin is too large, the recursive case casts the shrink spell, and then casts itself again. Recursive spells shrink the problem, in this case literally, and then conjure themselves again. This continues until the goblin is no longer too large. At that point, the problem is trivial and the base case triggers, casting the capture spell and ending the recursion. The wizard calls the spell, passing the name of the goblin. The spell works its magic. True. The first casting pauses, and the second casting starts at the beginning. True. True. False. The goblin is small enough, and the base case is triggered, capturing the goblin, and ending the recursion. And that, dear listener, is how wizards have refined their craft over the ages, from manual spells, to iteration, and finally to the elegance of recursion.